That was Mark Tedder with Arise here on your radio station, AM 930, The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. Well, listen to what Ezra says in Psalm 119, verse number 7. He says, I will praise you with an upright heart as I learn your righteous law. So here is Ezra reminding his readers and us today that we will develop a wonderful attitude of gratitude as we begin to learn the righteous word of the Lord. When we read the Word of God, and not only just read the Word of God, but actually make a concerted effort or concentrated effort to uh, to apply them into our life situation, something is going to begin to change. It's an inner transformation. You know, Paul puts it this way. He says, we are cleansed by the word of God. That means inside the word of God is like a cleansing agent and it gets rid of all the things that shouldn't be there, the dirt and the crud, etc., etc., and makes it is clean inside. And the byproduct of that is, of course, gratitude and thanksgiving. And that's why Ezra said, Ezra said, he said this, I will praise you with an upright heart because my heart has been cleansed by the word of God. Also remember this, wherever our heart is, that is where our treasure is. And wherever our treasure is, that is where our heart is. That's why the Lord must have our heart. When he has our heart, he has us and also the priorities, the goals, and the plans of our lives. And when we turn our lives over to the Lord, like it says in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, trust the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean to your own understanding, but always acknowledge him. He will direct your path. Isn't that great to know that you are not alone in this life journey, that you have a compass, an instruction, manual, a, uh, you know, uh, 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 a wonderful book to lead you into the path of righteousness, to know what the plan and purpose that God has for you today. And that's why Ezra said, I'm going to praise you with an upright heart as I learn your righteous laws. God wants us to know today his plan and purpose. And it's all contained within the pages of the Bible. A little thought for you today. Now we have for you Silverwood with the praise anthem. 